Excuse my, my speech is a little blurred. I got a couple of cavities filled in this afternoon. So like my face is like numb. Starting to come back. My two molars had uh cavities, so you know, had to get the needle stuck in both sides of my jaw. So uh might be a little mush mouth, a little fat albert today, but um we're gonna we're gonna still try to rock. You guys should all know that sample. Um, I'm gonna keep it. Let's go ahead and chop it. Reach out and touch. Touching me, touching me. 
Create a new program this time. I don't feel like assigning. Yeah, yeah.
I tried to record a four bar sequence into a two bar sequence, so I'm gonna copy the drums, first undo it, and hmm, um, go on to sequence edit, bars, remember that I got a DVD coming out, I'm gonna be explaining all this stuff, um, to you guys. Alright, last bars two. After bar two, one copy. So we make four bars. And as you can see, four bars. effects and put a low pass filter sweep never stop Thank <laughs> you. 
that. I, I'm, um, my man DJ Squeezy. What's up, DJ Squeezy? Um, you just got the, the NPC 5000. Welcome to the club, my man. Um, you had a question on how to filter a sample and have it playing underneath the sample, the original sample that you filtered, have that bass underneath. Uh, I was gonna put that on the, well, I'm gonna put it on the DVD that's coming out, but I'll um, go over it quickly with this video. All right, so I filtered the sample, right? So what I'm gonna do is resample that filter onto a different pad. So I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into uh, record sample, Change this to uh, sample outs, main out. So I'm sampling my output. So when I press this button, well, first of all, before I do that, let me um, let me uh, solo it because I don't want to. I don't want to record the drums. record means amplify it by two. Alright. So now I can take the filter off the original and put and just record this as a wave file underneath the beat. You know what I'm saying? Cause I already have this on a pad. It's already filtered. So I, what I do is just go into um, yeah. So just take this low pass filter off. Cause I had this plan. Well, let me go take the solo off the sample. All right. So we're gonna take that filter off that. So we can just have the main sample. multi you don't gotta go to each pad and take the filter off
so I'm just gonna record this one right here. Alright, I'm gonna record that underneath this right here. Alright. So I'm gonna just put it on track five. And this all you do is hit press record. Somehow the samples got off of out of their mute group, so they was clashing. Here we come right here. Solo it. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's basically how you do it. You just make your sequence and the sequence you want to filter. Add your filter to it. Alright. And then, um, well, first of all, um, that sequence you want to filter, just resample it first. Make it a wave file. Then take that wave file, put your filter on it. We can put that low pass filter on it. Um, and then all you do is this um, record, record it into the sequence. Alright? Peace.